Come on. Don't use that slogan. It's so bad. I was kidding. I wonder who just pulled up in front of the house. I love this art style. I think it's amazing. It's Honest. different than most games. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zeller. Bob. Bob. <laughs> I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, Whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. I mean, I might as well help well, him out. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing oh, out come on. justice like it's the wild goddamn West. It is. Oh, Bobby, I wish. regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. <laughs> Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. No, I, I wouldn't. doubt that for a moment. No, he wouldn't. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. Damn! You'll have it. There thank we you. go. Thank you both. I'm helping him out, even though he could be a bad guy in the next two I episodes. I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Dang, I know what to say at the right times. The music, dang. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite I don't mind talking. a social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? What? What? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day? <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year-round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? No. Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh... cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. 
Do well, excuse sure. me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. Oh, I'm Lord. sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Who was that? Is that the mayor? Falcone? Never mind. <laughs> Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Who? I'm sorry, I don't really know much lore about... Um, <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? Him. The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. Word no, I'm your Bruce? backer. Play nice. Can't promise anything. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. You're not Decent getting this walk one. up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. You're not getting the house. Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. We know who you are. And everyone's looking. It's probably not a good idea to shake his hand. You're a respectable man, I hear. Screw it, we're refusing. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. I have more integrity than that. I think that's the right word to use. I don't know why I said that out loud. You should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Let's talk. Have a drink, have a talk. Alone. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get a drink or something. Christ. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. He but just helps himself to a drink. in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. Are you playing so, pool? Let's talk relationship. No thanks. Chalk this for me. Be a wow. pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Might as well do a little bit of nice things for him. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. Okay, but I you didn't even score one. Oh. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. But you didn't That's score anything. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. For Gotham. For our city. No comment. You listen to me, kid. 
I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Well, guess what? Not for long. No. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Of course. We have Heed to be your the good butler's ghost. advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Don't worry, if the owner's a prick, then you're an asshole. So I don't think I played that all that well, but that was just the intro, which is honestly amazing. I'm already enjoying this game. The intro was half an hour long. Holy. Damn, man. It's a good game. Telltale always makes great games. I know that much. Great games, but hopefully we don't sit on this black screen for too long. Dedem. 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 I feel like I messed that up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I messed that up. Dang, here we go. It's me. His lights turn on to his voice. That's pretty cool. Oh, the Batmobile looks amazing. Does the color of the back thing of the of the actual like screen matter? Or is it just for some fun to have like a little bit of diversity? Episode one. We're only now starting episode one. Realm of Shadows. Alrighty. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battering rams to force their way in. With Monarch the attire? I think that's what it says. Over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Oh no, he didn't lose it. Okay. So I guess he was looking at his wound back then. Alright, so this is a really fun part where you get to just kind of like walk around and just check stuff out. What is this? Movie tickets. as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians. Okay, so I'm assuming the tickets are, uh, I guess, when his parents said, ooh, a towel. Holographic lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. Did he just compliment himself? Uh, I guess let's access the Gotham feed. Uh, the dent, okay, pressures mayor to decry the vigilantes. All right, I'm not reading all of that. Police uh, lieutenant tapped to the task force. Cool, cool, cool. Codex. Uh, data port, I guess. The back computer should be able to read whatever data is on its screen. Oh, okay. So we're gonna have to put that in the actual thing. Okay, that's cool. He stopped talking. Never mind. All right, let's look at this data drive. Nearly fell off a building for this. Yep. Alrighty. Let's just move back a bit. Ooh. What's this? This. I know. Okay. EMP and then trace. Okay. Guess we can get out. Let's see. Anything else? I know this game. Like a lot of the times, they can reward you for like looking around. Should absorb most of the damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back, even from the police. 
What an idiot, though. He, if he just listened to Gordon. Anyways, let's put it in the data port. Get this thing analyzed. Can we get that guy to stop talking? It's kind of annoying me. Let's find out what was so important. God, he doesn't stop talking. There we go. Holy. Alrighty. Encrypted. Of course it's encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. <laughs> I like this cave. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house. You know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. That's a good idea. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. <laughs> Quite an eclectic I like it. resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. What are we doing? Oh. Okay. Alright. Rotate the hologram using these. So, a W and S don't do anything. Okay. There's nothing here. It's probably over here on the other side. Actually, there's a purple thing right here. This is a map yep, of the east side shoreline. Yep. But it could mean any number of things. How Money, so? Weapons, drugs. Oh. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. Really? You're at zero percent, bud. It's not and getting anywhere. In the anymore. meantime, Batman's coming out I to saved play. I what I could. Thanks, so. Al. What is that? Sugar? Uh, is that black you sugar? Be said for the bar, I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Thank you. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't I want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Okay, so this is like way before he knew who Catwoman I'll was. I'll check the codex. Oh, I actually have to do something now. There's the codex, there's the Gotham feed, which I don't care about the Gotham feed, so let's go check the codex. Um, okay, so there's this. Found her. Alrighty. Uh, new crime on the scene tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the uh, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Okay, fair enough. Doesn't really give me enough information. Um, 